That's right. We talk with one woman who lives down this roadway. She's actually having to use a tractor just to get through this flooded roadway. Take a look. This road is seeing some of the worst of it. In some areas, it's about a half foot deep. That's because the nearby Purple Creek is backing up. The water is so, there's so much water and the river is full. It has nowhere else to go. Flooding is so bad near Louis York's home, she has to use a tractor to drive through the high water covering the roadway. It's the only way in and out right now. York lives on Westbrook Road. City leaders say it's one of only two Jackson streets that flooded after last week's heavy rainfall. The water is so high on Westbrook because nearby Purple Creek is backing up. Hopefully the, the water's going to go down and I can get back in. Is your home flooded at all? No, uh-uh. It's all around it though. It's like on a little island. York said she was forced to move her horses to higher ground after their stable flooded. Water also covering a huge section of a soccer field on Westbrook Road. The water gets up from time to time, but not this time of the year. Usually it's in like April, some, you know, March, April. So, you know, it's a little uh, worrying me right now that it's that it's here this early. The Pearl River crested Sunday night just over 34 feet. That's much lower than an earlier forecast. York may still need to rely on her tractor, though. The high water won't recede for the next few days. Now that the water is stable and it's not going to be going up anymore, uh, I'm just going to kind of watch it and see what to do next. Now, York says she's still worried she'll be paying close attention to the weather for the next few days. And with more rain in the forecast later this week, she says she may have to abandon that tractor and head for higher ground, just like her horses. Live in Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Thanks.